But we begin with a promising high school basketball standout murdered in a senseless act of gun violence. The teen was killed in a triple shooting on Detroit's west side. Carlissa Taylor was a senior at Ecorus High School with a promising future in basketball. Tonight, her friends and family got together to honor her young life. Victor Williams is live, and Victor, it came on the same night as police released a new clue in the hunt for her killer. Yes, that's right. They did release several photos and videos of a car that may be suspected of firing shots into the car that killed Carlissa. But this entire area was just packed with people that knew this young girl and all of them had the same common thought that they shouldn't have to have had to come out here tonight instead of Instead of all of this, they should have been having a going away party for this young girl who had such a promising future. Instead, they're mourning her death. Hundreds gather in the parking lot of Hype Athletics paying their respects to a star high school basketball player taken way too soon. In coaching of 31 years, I've never ever imagined having to deal with anything like this with one of my players. 18-year-old Carlissa Taylor was killed alongside another 17-year-old when someone started to fire shots into the car they were traveling in down Schoolcraft Friday night. An additional 17-year-old was also shot but is still in critical condition. Police are now looking for whoever was behind the will of this gray or black Dodge Durango as the one responsible. Just before she was killed, Carlissa scored 27 points on the court. She had just had a game that day at 4.30. It's a hurtful situation for our family now. Tonight, it's family, friends, and teammates who are honoring this young girl with a candlelight vigil and a balloon release. Some of them could barely make it through without breaking into tears. It was never a time where Carlissa was putting us down or not motivating us to do better and be better. And that's why we are who we are today. Carlissa played basketball for Ecorse High and Henry Ford Academy, but coaches from all throughout her athletic career would always keep in touch. How she matured on and off the court was just tremendous. And she'll definitely be missed. But out of this tragedy, we as a team will grow, and each one of us will be stronger. We're going to live our legacy through Carlissa. And we know that a lot of college scouts were out there looking at Carlessa, hoping that they could get her to join their team. And we're told that shortly before she passed away, she ended up having a tour at Adrian College. So if you guys know who in the world might have been behind the wheel of that Durango, you're asked to call police as soon as possible and leave a tip. Victor Williams, local farm. That's so sad, Victor. Thank you very much.